Welcome to btmontreal.ca. We have a little bit of fun here on the internet. Uh, we take a look back at some of the stories uh, that we are interested in this week. And this week, I can think of no other than the case of Lino Zambito. Uh, you know, a, a household name now in Quebec, the star of the Charbonneau Con Commission, if you can call him that. And this week, uh, a Tuesday in St. Jerome, we got some news about him uh, getting a, a suspended sentence. What are the details, Dom? What happened to, to Lino, uh, and uh, why are we talking about this this week? Well, Justice Paul Chevalier was sentencing him for uh, corruption crimes. He, he, faces, he faced criminal charges in Boisbriand for basically giving kickbacks to City Hall in Boisbriand in exchange for public uh, contracts. He got no jail time. He got community service and uh, a suspended sentence. Uh, you're going to ask me, did his testimony at the Charbonneau Commission play a part? That's exactly what Big I was going to ask you, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I have the decision in my hands. It's 20 pages, uh, page 7. I mean, the judge is praising Zam uh, Zambito. I've never seen this. Uh, this is a guy who was facing years, up to 10 but, years in jail for crime. What's crimes. amazing to me, uh, Dom, is yeah. that this is a guy, and the judge said it in, yeah. that, in that very ju judgment, that he used violence at times. You know, this is not a model citizen. I don't care that he, you know, I mean, I guess he's making good on it. I mean, is that what it comes down to? Is the reason why he got a lenient sentence because he's made good on the ills of the past, the stuff he did in the past that was so wrong? I think he gave him a break. I mean, when judges evaluate what sentence to give you, they, they list down the attenuating factors mm -hmm. and the aggravating factors. But uh, I think this is probably the only factor he looked at. Like I said, he was facing up to 10 years for fraud, intimidation. I mean, he stole millions of dollars from taxpayers, both in Montreal and in Boisbriand. But uh, I mean, in this decision, he's praising him for changing his life. He's thanking him for being so transparent. Well, uh, and I you never say, see this. You, you never see this. You say the word transparent, and this right. week on Breakfast Television, Television, we got the chance to interview uh, Lino Zambito, and I think it was, you know, we, you know, we asked him about uh, what he has seen, and has he seen a change in the system? Because this is now four years old, and we, we talk about it all the time, whether there's a con construction snafu. So we asked him, has there been a change, and his uh, answer was pretty surprising. Have a look. The work the commission did was huge in the municipal affairs. We saw many changes. We, Montreal, we saw lots of changes. Uh, Laval, uh, the heads, they were gone, and uh, a lot of uh, the other municipality, too, changes were made. But if we think that corruption is finished and uh, there's no more, uh, I think we're doing a big mistake. Yeah, it's corruption not finished. I think everyone would agree with that assessment. Uh, what is Lino Zambito doing now with his life? We didn't get a, talk, a chance to talk about this on the show this week. What is he up to? How does, uh, what's next for him? I had a brief chat with him on the phone. Uh, he's still in the construction business. Uh, he's working <laughs> with his uncle as a consultant. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, fill in the blanks. Yeah. Uh, we don't know exactly what he's doing, but isn't that a little bit surprising? It is. That, you know, I mean, here's, it is. A, here's yeah. a guy who goes on uh, national TV basically telling the world that the mob is running Montreal City Hall, but three years later, oh yeah, I'm back in the construction business and this is how I want to earn my living. So you, it's. <laughs> Dom, you could not write a drama like this. I mean, it's such There'll an interesting be a movie story. There will be a movie about this. Uh, Dominic Fazioli yeah. from the Breakfast Television newsroom. Breakfast Television also airs on the television. 62.1 if you have an antenna. A whole bunch of other places. Make sure you join us 6 to 9, Monday through Friday.